Hey Daisies, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be teaching you, Daisies, how to do a back bend. Um, it is going to be fun, so we need to stretch. We're going to stretch our legs and our hands. So we're going to stretch our hands first. You're going to go on your knees. We're going to do some spaghetti. Now we're going to do spaghetti the other way. There. Now we're going to do meatballs. So you're going to put your hands like this. And roll them like this. This is called meatballs. Do you hear these cracking noises? That's how you want your wrists to be. After that, you're going to get them in a bowl. And here, I'll stretch. I'm going to go a little back. So you get them in a bowl. And you dump. Have your arms straight, your knees together. Put them on your knees. I'm going to do the same thing, but like this. This time you can go up like this. This is a fancy one, so you're gonna go like this, cross, like that, and down. Good job, everyone! You stretched your hands. Now we're gonna be stretching our legs. This is a really common stretch. Um, so we're just gonna do it. So put your legs together, just a little bit apart, but like that. Fingers and bend down. I'm gonna do that 10 times. Go up, down. Okay, ready? Start doing it 10 times. Make sure your legs are straight. Now we're gonna do a little push-up. I could, you could do a push-up like this. Make sure only your arms bent. You could go like this. That's just an easier way. Or you could do a real push up. I'm going to show everybody, so we're going to do each four times. So I'm going to do a regular push up. There we go. Now we're gonna do this push up. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna do this push up. Okay. Here we go. So now we're going to be doing the pike. So get your toes pointed. And reach down. Good job, everybody. Now, I think we're done stretching. So what you need to learn, know how to do is we're gonna do this ten times. If you get, if you need water, pause the video, go get water. So you're gonna point your toes. Gymnastics one, or back bend one. Back bend two, and back bend three. You're gonna do that same thing 10 times. You can't just push up. You need to do back bend one, back bend two, back bend three, 10 times, and push up. Ready, go. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. Gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three 
gymnastics. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. Two gymnastics, three gymnastics. Oh. Sorry about that, everybody. Technical. That wasn't supposed to happen, but let's say we all did it ten times. I, if you can't push up to your back pin ten times, I don't think this one's for you. But you can try if you want, but make sure you have a crash pad under you. If you don't have a crash pad, make sure you're on carpet or a squishy ground or in a gym. Make sure if you have the gym, there's always a crash pad or a gymnastics mat in the gym. So you want to put that under you just in case you fall. So you're never, I'm going to show you guys what is wrong. This is always wrong. Give me a sit. So do you see how I went one that hand first down? That is wrong. Also, this is very important. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see my hands. Don't do what I'm doing yet. You get your, so your hands need to be like this. If they're not, if they're like sideways, no, no, no. If they're backwards, no. That can hurt yourself. This is another reason why you need to know how to do your push-up back bends. So you're not supposed to go like this. You're also not supposed to walk down like that. All you're supposed to do you guys are not going to try this yet. We're first going to practice on a wall, which we're going to do shortly. That's the right way to do it. So, go to a little wall. What would be good for this? So, there's my wall. Make sure your crash pad is under you. I'll grab mine. Make sure it's touching fully the wall. Even if there's a little gap, make sure it's not on cement. If it's next to cement, A-okay, but make sure to have a crash pad or gymnastics mat. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is down the wall with your hands. So you're gonna, you're gonna go like this. And you're just gonna walk down the wall like that. It's basically how you guys are doing. So you're, or how about, this would be easier for some of you guys, I think. You guys could walk up the wall if you want and then try walking down. But I'm gonna demonstrate kind of how we're doing. But we're doing we're doing this exact thing with our hands, but you're not gonna push up into a back bend. So you're let's just say hold on.
getting pain. It was basically like you're walking up the wall and then flipping over. But you're not. You're walking down the wall and into your back bend. If you guys did this five times, you're ready. So you're gonna put your gymnastics mat or a crash pad right under you. Like this. You're gonna oh, make sure your gymnastics mat is not crooked. I guess it's fine if it is, but you're gonna get your legs about spread out. Not too much, but not too short. Then you're just gonna lean back. Slowly, not as fast as I did. You're gonna put your hands back. Bend your back. Bend your arms. 